Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Flight. Here we are, September the 3rd, 1916. Squadron Yasta 8. Weather report, perfect visibility, ideal flying conditions, wind at ground level, southwest, 0 meters per second. There is our crew. We are Maximilian von Trappenf. And uh, primary objective, follow your assigned route and patrol the area over the front line positions. Take off 823. Now, if we go to the hangar, I'll show you what we are. We have the Eindecker. The Fokker E3. Look at this bad boy. And it, I thought I'd do a one-off mission uh, with something um, somebody said the other day. It's like, oh, wouldn't it be not interesting to see how um, you get on in a in a Fokker E3, or the Eindecker, against you know the DH2s. So I thought, oh, why not? Let's give this a go. Let's stick some um, some bits and bobs on. Anything exciting in there? Oh, we can have the green scarf, of course, and we don't have a streamer as yet, and that's just that. Good, right. So here we are. Let's give this baby a go and see how it is with the shoes on the other foot. Hmm? Let's give this... <laughs> this is crazy. Let's give this a go. Right, uh, we got throttle this time, so... Uh, let's just give the old... This feels weird. Visibility alone is a bit strange, isn't it? With the uh, kind of like almost like the uh, Formula One halo device in front of us. Just caught the gun. Ours doesn't seem to be dead. They're off. Right. Nose forward slightly. Let's, let's lift the aircraft up. Can we. Uh... No, I don't like the view. The visibility isn't the best. But we're up. Ooh, I'm getting a bit close to him. Okay. Oh god, she doesn't handle particularly well. First, oh god, she's really sluggish. This is going to be fun. Right, um, there, up goes the green flare. We are ready to head to uh, our patrol. Hi everyone, quick update. Uh, we're just coming over the front line there, and below us, you might be able to see some aircraft. They are friendlies uh, returning from a bombing raid by the looks of it. We've got another one just there, look. With their escort. Yeah, I've found out that, yeah, this doesn't have a throttle either. This is just wind up and you go, and you just use the blip switch to uh, control the pace. Um, yeah, not much to report. We've got uh, some balloons over here, which I don't particularly want to go for. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, uh, so far, so good. Nothing to report. Um, just a couple of friendly activity. Uh, we're going to press on and hopefully uh, come across some uh, DH2s very shortly. I fancy testing this. Well, I don't fancy testing this thing out in a dogfight, actually. It handles like an absolute pig. It really is sluggish. I can't describe how sluggish it is, but um, yeah, we'll find out if we ever get into a dogfight. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I am looking forward to it, but we'll find out. If we get there, we'll find out, and we'll give it a go. Uh, is that just two flak, three flak spots up there? Yeah, nothing to report. Good. Right, we'll press on then. I'll see you in a bit. Hey everyone, welcome back. We have a barrage balloon, or barrage balloon, observation balloon, should I say, in front of us. And we're setting up for an attack on it. Um, yeah, this should be interesting. Oop. Did the turbulence sail or something? Let's keep that on. I don't like being in the really zoomed in view. It makes me feel slightly uh, motion sick. That's, uh, I don't know how strong the uh, the frame is on these uh, Eindeckers. From my experience of being on the other side, not particularly strong would be my uh, my guesstimate. So, 
trying to uh, temper the speed as we come down here but also trying to get below because I know they'll be frantically winding that thing down as quickly as possible He's one of our buddies <laughs> did cock the gun didn't I? yeah I did don't mind if he goes in first just trying to control my speed I think he's peeling away is he? yeah he's peeling away, give me a bit of room there they go, he's going down too far out right, really don't want to push this girl too much. A few long range shots, maybe. No, I can't get that. No. No, no, no. Uh, we're not getting much ground fire, so I might chance a quick loop and uh, coming back on an air. Oh goodness, this is so difficult to fly. I'll take my hat off to those guys I was battling earlier because you know in the in the previous thing because series because this is a horrible aircraft to fly. I'm sure it would get better if you're given a bit more time, but first impressions are Sluggish and horrible. Oh, and fortunate we're not getting any ground fire, so we can just take. Um, liberties. Got it. Goodness me. Thankfully, we got no um, flak from the uh, the ground, which is uh, very fortunate indeed. Which uh, that's the only reason I went in. Like I did. That balloon has been tempered. Right, where are our buddies? They're probably about 1500 feet above us now, and I'll probably never. There they are. I'll never get up there again. Uh, but we, our patrol is to continue up the uh, up the no man's land area and uh, look for any targets. So I'm going to start my climb now and hopefully uh, get some altitude, which gives us a little bit more safety from any grandfather that may come up. And hopefully, uh, we may get a bit of. Uh, well, actually, after that, I do not want a dogfight action. No, I know this aircraft is not particularly good. <laughs> it's not manoeuvrable. Oh, where are they going? Maybe they're just circling above me. Uh, I'm going to start circling and climbing as well. So, um, yep, I'll get some altitude, and I'll see you back in a few minutes. Hi everyone, uh, not much else about but balloons, so we're going to try number two to get a, uh, let's just get this um, balloon down here, he's already, look at they're already winding it down, got to drop a lot of uh, altitude quite quickly, what I don't want to do is <laughs> flip the engine so much that it actually cuts off, because that would be a fairly awkward moment. Do a bit of side slip. Can this side slip? Oh, yeah, it can. Quite effectively, actually. That's quite good. Right, uh, guns cocked. Ready? Here we go.
Okay, he's coming down really quick. Can we bank over? Oh. Okay. So that's two balloons we've got, and that was a lot better that time. Whoa, 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 whoa. A bit of ground fire. Oh, bit of oil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We've taken a bit of oil on the on the old lens. Our goggles are covered in oil. Let's... Oh, God. Um, let's try and can we keep our head over... Try and keep my head over this side near the microphone. Uh, hopefully we can. Um, uh, oh god, the oil's getting worse. The engine's going to pack up any minute. We've just got to try and climb a little bit and try and get over um, to friendly territory, and then we'll land on our far side. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. This is this is oil on our lens. If you're if you're wondering, the engine is um, taking a bit of fun. We've got a bit of um, traces going past us now, so we need to bob and weave. You can hear the engines getting quieter. It's um, losing power. Um, yeah, so I'm taking this. This must be. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> I didn't read up about it, which I probably should have. But um, uh, this feels much more like a uh, boom and zoom type aircraft, although not at huge altitudes and huge speeds. But um, yeah, that that was a lot better doing those steep um, dives and stuff there than it was the first time around when we are trying to do some manoeuvrability around the balloon. So, um, right, we're coming over to friendly lines now. can barely see anything. So let's see uh, how she is landing. Now we've got some lovely grassy fields here. Unfortunately we didn't get to dogfight. Maybe we'll do another mission where we go up and dogfight. Yeah, and don't worry. This I'm not doing a. This isn't the start of a new series. Um, I because I think we're going to do um, something which allows us to do some bombing next time. Um, trying to keep a little bit of uh, visibility through the oil. I thought if you leaned out, oh, there goes the engine. Uh, really difficult to judge our depth with all this oil. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Skid in. Rumble of the old. Oh, there's the road. We'll stay on the road. See so if we can get like a passing lift on a truck or maybe horse drawn cart or something. There we go. Uh, bit of damage. We've lost the engine, but uh, there's our brethren just marking out where we are. We'll give them a little wave. We're okay, guys. You head back to base and send the trucks, and uh, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay. Cheers, guys. Right. Uh, with that done, I uh, will leave it there. Not the most um, successful of missions, but at least my goggles are clear now, and I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, the Eindecker. Um, not sure. I might take it up for a couple more one-off missions. We're going to get some dogfighting in it as well. But so far, so um, so weird. Yeah. I... Oh, look at that. Can you see the uh, the pulley system at work? That is pretty. Look at that. Flex the wing. That's really weird, isn't it? No wonder we don't have that much movement. What a what a strange concept for an aircraft as our boys are flying circle around us. We're okay, boys. You go home. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had this uh enjoyed this quick drop back into Rise of Flight. There will be more Rise of Flight coming, do not worry. Uh we'll certainly be doing some more in the future. As I said, probably a bombing type campaign as well. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit that thumbs up if you have. 
to let me know that you want to see some more. And if you have enjoyed it, ha perhaps consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling on the bell next to it to make sure you get all the latest video releases into your notification feed. Right, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.